Hi everyone and welcome to the Scrub and Create YouTube channel. It's Christine here and I am here with you today with part one of my tutorial on how I created my 8x10, 8 by 10, 8 and a half by 10 and a half is the size of the covers of the album using the Chow Bella Codex Leonardo paper collection. Uh, to create this album I used two of the 12 by 12 packs and I can't show you the covers because the back of those covers actually had designer paper on it which I used up so I probably should have popped on camera to show that first but I just neglected to do it I just got to creating and cut up the paper uh, the Codex Leonardo also comes in an A4 size uh, uh, size uh, paper pack which is mostly as you can see here from the pictures on the uh, cover page um, lots of things you can punch out and tags and lots of just ephemera that you can add to your album but the backs of these ephemera pages has designer paper on it as well so I used some of that a lot of the ephemera and then um, basically all of the two packs of the 12 by 12 to create this 8 by 10 album. Now I've already went ahead and created the album itself as well as the pocket pages. There is already a great um, tutorial here on YouTube that Daphne did showing how to make a base 8 by 10 album and the base 8 by 10 pocket pages. I'm sorry, the album is actually eight and a half by ten and a half. The pages are eight by ten. So you make the albums about a half of an inch in each side bigger to accommodate the pages. So I didn't want to confuse you there. So the pages are eight by ten. The album's eight and a half by ten and a half. Okay, so this is already done. I will have all the measurements for you down in the description box of this video below. And I will link you to Daphne's video on how to create this album base as well as the base pocket pages. So what we're going to be doing in this particular video is we are going to be customizing the pages for how I create this album. Okay, so you're making this along with me. Um, I haven't made the album yet. I've planned it all out, but uh, hopefully everything will go according to plan and we'll have a gorgeous large album when we're all done. Because the album is 8x10, uh, the, the pages are 8x10, it can accommodate obviously 8x10 photos and below. Um, so it's a big album and it can accommodate so many things. Um, I kind of made pages one, so like the first page of each base pocket page. So one, three, five, and seven. In my plans, I've kind of made a bit chunkier and busier and more interactive and then I've kept the other pages two four six and eight relatively simple but I think if you follow along uh, you'll be able to create this album um, it, it might look a little complicated at the beginning but I promise it's not and you'll be able to create this album along with me so um, I have already pre-taped and pre-cut all of my uh, flips, flaps, pockets, etc. that we're going to put on these pages. So hopefully this tutorial will go quickly. We won't need, be needing the book for this part of the tutorial. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this aside. Um, and we will come back to that in part two of this video. So for part one, I'm just going to grab the first of four base pocket pages. Remember, these measure eight by ten and they have this pocket here which is what will attach them to the hinge of our book and then we'll have a nice large pull out tag for a photo mat on each side of the of the page okay so we are going to start with page one and i am going to go ahead and bring over my little page one sticky note and conglomerate of uh, things that I've already cut and pre-taped. Now the best, the main thing that you will need to create this album is three eighths of an inch score tape, which you can get at Scrap and Create. This is my favorite size because all of my um, um, Mm, flaps I guess you could say are half of an inch long so, or half of an inch wide rather so the half inch score tape is too big quarter of an inch will work 
but I like a little bit more sticky to my flaps. So the three eighths of an inch is perfect. Also, by the way, before we go any further, I forgot to mention, and I want to make sure that I do in the description box of this video below, I will have links to all the products from the scrap and create store that I use to create this album. There will also be all of the measurements that you need for the customization of each of these pages, um, as well as for the album itself and the base pocket pages. Since I didn't do a video on that, I'll have the measurements below as well. So make sure you click that show more, show more button in the description box of this video in order to see everything that is, uh, that is, that is listed for you down there. There'll be lots of helpful information. Okay, so let me just grab my notes and we are going to start with page one. Now page one um, is going to be, like I said, page one, the, the first page of each of the base pocket pages is a little bit more complicated. So just bear with me and you'll be able to do this, I promise. We are going to start with two flaps that are going to go like this on the base page. So they're just going to both, one's going to be at the top, one's going to be at the bottom, and they're going to open up like so, okay? So um, these are going to be the same exact uh, size. So what you want to do is you want to cut two pieces of cardstock, whatever color. I chose black as my base for this paper because I just thought it went really well with the, um, you know, the, the designs of the paper. Uh, but you could use a, a craft if you prefer. That would be pretty as well. Whatever you choose. Uh, I've chosen black and I use 65 pound uh, cardstock and I prefer the Recollections brand from Michaels. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is adhere these two flaps to the top and bottom of our base page. These flaps measure eight by five and a half and on the five and a half inch side you're going to score it half an inch and then you're going to place again like i said one at the top and one at the bottom so i'm going to do my top one first so i'm going to flip this over as i've said in many videos just make sure when you're working you know i often will turn the pages just to help me have a better vantage point when adhering my flaps but just make sure that you have those uh pocket openings in mind as you're going along. You don't want to accidentally adhere it on the wrong side or seal up your pocket on accident. Why do I say those things? Because I have done all of those things in creating before. Um, just, you know, sometimes you get distracted or you just are, you know, singing along to music or whatever. And <laughs> yeah, I've done it all. You name the mistake and I have made it. So I'm very thankful for Undo which is a great product. So if you tape something down or glue something down and make a mistake, you can fix it. Or sometimes, as you guys have seen in other videos from me, I just tear it off and uh, redo it. And nobody knows when you're all finished, except of course, all of you who have watched me make the mistake in the video. <laughs> um, okay, so let me find my bone folder here and I'm just gonna burnish this. So this is the one that we placed at the top of our pocket page okay now we're going to do the same thing on the bottom so um, now i've got it down here and we're just going to do the same exact thing on the thing on the bottom remember these two measure the exact same size and they are the full length of the uh, pocket page so before i take off all of the tape i like to just take off a tiny little bit and I like to make sure that everything meets nicely. It meets nicely in the middle here with this, um, with this top flap. And then once I'm satisfied that I have it in the right spot, which I'm not, so I'm just gonna tear that little tiny bit off. And I'm gonna try again here. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. So I'm gonna put this flap down and yeah, I am happy with that now. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the rest of the backing of the score tape, and then we'll just burnish this down. So now we have two flaps that open like this. As you can see, I've already done one pocket on this flap. 
when I do two of this, I tried to save some time so the video wouldn't be too super long. And so when I have two of the same thing to do, sometimes I went ahead and did one of them already. So you kind of have a hint of the next step here. But these two flaps are each going to have pockets at the bottom to stick some of these beautiful tags and ephemera. I mean, the ephemera in this collection is, oh my gosh, gorgeous. So I really wanted to utilize it and use it up. So I wanted some small pockets throughout the album. Album, uh, in which to place some of that fun ephemera plus it's practical because you can stick photos in there or journaling cards or what have you as well so these two pockets measure the same exact size because uh, the flaps are the same exact size so these po these pockets measure five by pardon me just a moment let me just make sure that I am on the right yes they measure um, five by four and a half and then you score on three sides at half an inch so this one on the bottom uh, just a flap just went on the very bottom just along the very bottom of that flap as you can see here so now we have this nice pocket now on the top I'm gonna pull I'm gonna close this and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this down and this pocket is going to go right at the bottom of this flap but we don't want it to overlap the actual crease where we made that um, um, score line so you want, just want to be very careful when you're setting your pocket down that you are above that score line so it doesn't interfere with the interaction of the flap okay so what I did is I just I cut it like I said at five by four and a half and then added my score tape uh, um, after I scored on three sides at half an inch and then just mitered the corners and if you've seen any of my videos I've explained this before but uh, when you are folding when you are rather scoring your pockets you have intersections at the two edges and so it makes like a little X and all you do is take your scissors and cut there and that just gives you nice corners to your pockets when you lay them down and adhere them to the page so the first thing that I'm gonna do is take just a little bit of score tape off of the uh, bottom of the pocket just so I can get it nice and situated and again I'm putting it right above that score line not below it otherwise we won't be able to uh, use utilize the flap it'll interfere with the mobility of the flap so I have that in a good place I'm gonna go ahead and pull the score tape off of the um, the sides as well alrighty okay so that is done so now we have these two flaps we are going to be and I'll show this in video two where I place my magnets I do want to um, show you the magnets that I use I like to use the basic gray small magnet discs that you can get in scrap and create they actually come in two sizes they come in the small and then large which are really really big um, I've only used the large I think once and it was one I was trying to adhere like a bunch of pages together uh, so for your general um, paper crafting and mini album making the small will be just fine and this is what I use pretty much exclusively and like I said you can get these at scrap and create in video two where we decorate the album I will show you uh, where I place all all of the magnets but I did just want to point that out so we'll have some magnets uh, but what I'm going to be doing is I have some of the cut aparts and I'm gonna have a little tag here um, with some design paper and it's gonna hold it's gonna there's gonna be magnets underneath it it's gonna look really pretty and it's gonna hold these down okay so if you want to go ahead and cut a piece of cardstock um, to whatever size you have this nice large in the 12 by 12 uh, cut apart sheet of beautiful sentiments and other um, other items as well and you also have tags so you could really use anything um, to hold this together I chose let me just pull out my page one designer paper and see if I can dig it out and show you what I chose in case you want to use the same thing that I did I think I'm gonna have to unclip it let's see I chose this one from the cut apart page that says da Vinci code 
Okay, so that is the one that I chose if you would like to choose the same thing as I did. So go ahead and just cut a piece of cardstock to whatever size is a quarter of an inch on each side larger than the paper that you are, than the cut apart that you are using. If you're gonna use the same one as I am, then you cut a piece of cardstock to four inches by two inches. And I'm just gonna set this aside because we do not need to adhere this now. We're gonna be doing this after we get our design paper down. And our, well, magnets first, then design paper, then this. So we'll be doing this in video number two. So go ahead and set that aside. Okay, so the next thing that we wanna do is open these flaps up. And I know that they're not gonna, um, all be on the camera because it's so large, but that's okay because we're working this way now. So make sure your top and bottom flaps are open. And now we have a left and right flap that we are going to go ahead and adhere down. The left and right flap measure four and three quarters by 10 and you score at half an inch and three quarters of an inch. Usually I do an eighth of an inch gusset but this time I'm doing a quarter of an inch gusset. So as you can see, we have scored, uh, I know it's a little hard to see because it's black on black, but we have scored at half an inch and three quarters of an inch. You place your score tape right only on the half of an inch part. So from the bottom, from the edge of the paper to the half an inch um, score line is where you place your score tape. And then once you fold it on both of those score lines, you have this nice, gusset here that is a quarter of an inch. If you've made any of my other albums, you know I usually do about an eighth of an inch uh, gusset, but this one, because I'm stuffing it so full with fun things, is going to be a quarter of an inch gusset. So one is going to go on each side, like so. They are both the same exact measurements, and they're going to go on either side and meet in the middle. Okay, so when they open, these are going to be closed and then these will be on top like so. But we had to adhere these first and then have them opened in order to place these flaps down. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to turn mine this way so it's kind of long ways just so I have a better vantage point. But remember, you want to make sure that when you're placing these down, you keep that orientation in mind where your pocket pages, where your pocket openings are. Okay, so this is my left one. Again, the left and the right are the same exact size. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay it flat for a minute so that score line, so that gusset is not um, protruding, it's all flat. And I'm gonna go ahead and take just the tiniest little bit of score tape backing off. And I am going to line this up right against the edge of my pocket page. We wanna make sure that we don't interfere with the score lines um, for the, the top and bottom pockets. I'm sorry, the top and bottom flaps. Okay, so once you're happy with the placement, just make sure it's flush against the left side of your pocket page. You can go ahead and remove the backing of the score tape. I did not get all of mine off that time, but that's okay. I'll just go to the other end and not try not to move it. Make sure I still have it where I want it. And then we'll just remove the rest of the score tape backing. There we go. I'm gonna take my bone folder and give it a nice little burnish. And then, um, we are going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to turn it. Remember your left and right flaps are the same exact size. I'm going to lay it flat again so the gusset is not protruding. So it's all flat. And then I am going to, and I put this on the wrong side. So now you can see me fix a mistake. <laughs> this is actually going to be my left flap. So I'm going to just peel this off. If you had undo, that would be fine too. But um, all of this is going to be covered. So I don't mind that I have a little bit of, you know, wonky paper showing. I can pull this off. It's okay. I'm going to cover this with design paper. No one's ever going to know. And this is the one that actually goes on the left. Remember I told you I took some shortcuts and added some pockets 
when I'm going to be doing the same thing on either side. And I had already added the pocket for this one, but it needs to go over here. <laughs> so that's why I had to rip up what I just did. But that's okay, because no one's gonna know. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this square tape off. So now we have, I'm just doing exactly what I just did, just with the correct flap. Now we're going to turn this over, but because of the boo-boo, I've got to re-add score tape to the flap here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my three-eighths of an inch score tape and stick it on, remember, just sticking it on the, the, the space that goes from the edge of the paper to the half of an inch score line. So we're going to go ahead and stick that down. I'm just using my perfect trim ruler there to go ahead and tear the score tape. If you have an acrylic block that's flat, that doesn't have ridges in it, that will work just as well. I get asked a lot, what's that yellow thing that you use to, uh, to tear the score tape? It's a perfect trim ruler. I don't even know if they make it anymore, to be perfectly honest with you. I got it so many years ago. But um, an acrylic block will work just as well. Or your fingers. You really don't have to use... A special device to tear the score tape. I've just found that that's what makes it a little bit easier. So now we are adhering the other flap. Again, make sure it's flush to the side of your um, pocket page. Now these are going to overlap at first because remember we haven't folded back on the gusset. So that's okay that they're overlapping. You'll see once we fold back on that quarter of an inch gusset, they will meet perfectly. What is stuck to my score tape? There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and burnish this. Now, what I'm gonna do is turn it back in the correct orientation. Make sure I'm on camera. Okay, and we're gonna fold on that quarter of an inch gusset. So fold back on the quarter of an inch gusset on both sides, and you will see now that they meet perfectly. Can you guys see that? They do not overlap in the slightest and they meet perfectly in the middle. So what it's gonna look like is these are gonna be down, they're gonna be magnetized, and then these are gonna be down and will be magnetized. So this will be our first page. Now what I did on the, the two side flaps is I added little pockets where you can place tags, ephemera, photos, what have you. So I've already adhered one to the left flap, so I wanna adhere one to the right flap. Again, these are both the same size, and they um, they measure, let's see, um, do, 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 do. I don't think that I wrote it down. So let me just measure this for you really quickly here. This measures five by four and a half, and you score at each on each um, side at half an inch. I gave you the wrong measurements for these pockets. These are actually eight by five and a half, and you score half an inch on half an inch on each side. Again, you don't have to worry about the measurements. They will all be correct for you in the description box of this video below. But this one is five by four and a half, scored half of an inch on three sides, miter your corners, and then go ahead. And what you want to do is make sure when you would hear this that you have it flush to the very edge of the flap. So I'm just going to take a little bit of score tape off the bottom and then go ahead and stick it down, making sure it doesn't go over the edge, uh, but is right flush up against it and then doesn't interfere with the uh, score line here on the left that gives us our flap. So that is perfect. So once I've done the bottom, the sides are easy. You just go ahead and take the score tape off the sides and you are all done. Okay, so these both these pockets are down. So again, let's go over this first page, what it will look like when it's all finished. We will have these two flaps that meet in the middle here. They will be uh, magnetized, and I have chosen this little um, Roslyn from the paper collection. Whatever size you, whatever, um, cut apart you want to hold this down. I'm gonna put more magnets as well, but this is just decorative and fun. Um, and it's gonna go right here in the middle. And this little thing measures um, two and an eighth by one, if you wanna use the Roslyn that I used. Um, but any cut apart that you want, or you don't have to use a cut apart at all. You can just use magnets, that's fine. So I'm gonna stick this with the other cut apart 
that we set aside for page one. I'm going to paper clip them together and I'm going to set them aside and you'll see them in use in video number two. All right, so we have page one done. Um, so it opens like this and then it opens like this and you have pockets here, pockets here, and then a nice spread in the middle. Uh, this is going to be covered with paper, so don't worry that I made that boo-boo there, okay? So, um, and it will all be magnetized so it all stay together nicely. So that is page one. Turning it over now to page two. Now remember the other, the even pages are going to be a little bit um, sim simpler, simply because the, uh, as you can see, that's a really big gusset there on the side and so we want to keep the back of the page relatively simple so our book isn't too bulky. All right so for page two let me go ahead and grab that. For page two we just have a pocket and a flap so super super simple. Super super simple. So our um, pocket let's go ahead and do our pocket first. It's just going to go right a little flush along the bottom of the uh, pocket page. So I just want to flip this over one more time, make sure I'm in the right orientation. I am. And so I'm going to go ahead and stick this down. This pocket measures nine by four and a half. You score on three sides and half an inch. So it will fit perfectly right here along the bottom of your pocket page. Again, I just took a little bit of the backing of the score tape off so I can get this exactly where I want it and gives me some wiggle room and then I'm going to remove the rest of the backing and stick it down. So once I have that, I can go ahead and remove the backing on the sides as well. Don't forget to miter your corners when you're doing your pockets. Okay, so that's done. Super simple. And then we have a flap and I'm just going to, you can stick your flap anywhere you want and it's just cut to size to accommodate one of the cutter parts from the collection and it measures six and a half by four and on the six and a half inch side you score at half an inch. So it's just going to go right here along the top and as you can see it does not interfere with our pocket. So I'm going to turn this upside down and I'm going to take just a little bit of the score tape backing off. I'm about, oh, a quarter of an inch from the, from the right side. It's actually the left side when it's in the correct orientation of the pocket page. It really doesn't matter where you put your flap. You don't even have to have a flap if you don't want to. Um, but this is just how I did the book. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did. And I'll have a little magnet here to keep the flap down nice and nice and tight when everything is said and done. But that's it. That is page two. Again, keeping it very simple because page one is quite complicated. So I'm just going to put my little sticky back to show that this is page two. And we are going to move on. So you're going to want to now go ahead and set that aside and grab your next base page, pocket page, which the front will be page three. Okay, so for page three, we have, let's see, just need to find my page three um, cutouts here, page four, page three, here it is. Okay, so for page three, we're gonna have two flaps. Yeah, okay, I remember. We are going to have two flaps that we're going to want to adhere down first, and they are going to kind of overlap each other like so. Alrighty, so that's kind of what it's going to look like. They are the same exact measurements, so they are six and three quarters by ten, and on the six and three quarter inch side, you're just going to score at half an inch. And then you're going to, I'm going to, again, keep the, the openings in mind as you're flipping things around to get good uh, vantage points to stick your flaps down. And I am going to stick the left one down and then the right. Again, just keeping it flush, making sure that it's flush top, bottom, and then to all the way to the left of the page. When you're satisfied, go ahead and remove the backing of the score tape and give it a little burnish. I'm going to do the same thing now on the other side 
with the other flap, which again is the same exact measurement. Okay. So I'm just going to take a little bit of score tape backing off and do the same exact thing. So I'm going to go ahead and stick just that tiny little bit down. Make sure it's even with the top and bottom of the page as well as flush against the right side. I'm even going to close this, make sure it lines up. It does. So without moving it, I'm going to take the rest of the backing of the score tape off and then stick it down and give it a nice burnish. Okay, so here's what it's going to look like. It's going to be held closed by some magnets as well as just a fun little cut apart. Um, I'm not going to show you what I chose at this point. Um, you can choose whatever you want. If you want to use the one that I use, um, then you want to just cut a piece of cardstock to three by two and seven eighths. Okay. And I'm just going to stick this aside with a page three sticky on it because we're not going to set these little closures down until we have our design paper down. So that will be done in the next video. Okay. So we now want to go ahead and adhere a pocket to the inside of our base page. That pocket is going to measure nine by four and a half and you're going to score on three sides at half an inch, miter your corners, and then we're going to go ahead and adhere this right down. It's going to be flush against the bottom, but remember we do not want to interfere with the um, flaps that we have uh, placed down. So we want to be careful and not overlap the score lines that make our flaps. So I'm just going to take a little bit of score tape off of the bottom. I'm going to have it right up against the flap, but again, I'm not going over it. Before I peel any more score tape off, I'm going to make sure that the flaps close nicely. And they do. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead now and remove the rest of the backing of the score tape and then give this bottom of the pocket a nice burnish and then we can take off the side um, the sides of the score tape backing as well okay so it's right up against those flaps but it's not going to mess with their functionality as you can see plus these flaps are going to be magnetized so they will um, you know that will also help okay so that is done. Oops, I'm just making sure I'm burnishing everything really nicely so that every all that tape is down and nice and thick, or nice and sticky rather. And then this one goes like so. Okay. And just burnishing. Okay. So this opens like this. This opens like this. The right flap is going to have a um, the right flap is going to have another flap on it and it's going to measure four and a half by six on the four and a half inch side you're going to score at a half an inch and that is to accommodate just one of the cut aparts from the collection um, you can choose any cut apart that you like um, I chose this fun um, kind of um, um, clock and uh, gear kind of cut apart. So I'm just going to paper clip all this back together for my page three. All right. That's all in there. Okay. So that's just going to go at the top here. So I'm going to turn this upside down and go ahead and place the flap right along the top. And I'm going to center it so there's about a sixteenth of an inch um, from either side. It's real tight. It almost covers the complete top of the flap, but not quite. There's a little bit of room on either side. I'm going to go ahead and remove the, the backing of the score tape, and then we will give this a burnish. And we are done with page three. So it closes like so. It doesn't really matter. You could close it like this too if you wanted, but I'll show you why I chose to close, have the right flap on top. And it just has to do with how my design, the design paper that I chose. Okay. So this is page three. 
turn it over now again making sure you've got that pocket the, the pockets in the correct orientation and we are doing page four which again I've kept very simple page four is just another flap and pocket just like page um, three just page two was um, so let's go ahead and do the pocket first same measurement as page two the pocket is nine by four and a half and you score on three sides at half an inch and that pocket is just going to line up perfectly with the bottom and sides of our pocket page so I just tore off just a little bit of the backing of the score tape just to make sure that I am right where I want to be I am and I'm gonna go ahead and tear off the rest Okay. once that's done you can go ahead and tear off the sides of the score tape backing as well give it a nice burnish so everything is burnished down nice and really stuck down and so now we have this nice pocket we also have a flap that's just just cut to size of one of the cut aparts from the collection i'm going to put mine to the left so or to the right rather if it's in the correct orientation i'm going to turn it upside down so i can get a better vantage point and i'm going to put it a little bit i'm not centering it so i'm just putting it a little bit i'm about a quarter of an inch over from the edge and i'm just going to lay this down by the way this flat measures six and a half by four and on the six and a half inch side you scored half an inch it's the same measurement as the other uh, as on page two and again it's just to accommodate one of the cool cut aparts from the collection and so this is page four guys very very simple we can go ahead now and um, set this aside grab your next base pocket page and we are moving right along don't forget you can always pause if I'm going too quickly you can pause the video um, and you can cut everything beforehand if you like because all the measurements again are below for you in that uh, description box just click the show more button okay so now we're on page five for page five we let me go ahead and grab my it's a little bit more complicated again it's an odd an odd numbered page so on page five, we are going to go ahead and do our, our side flaps first. So these are the same exact size as page one. Okay, so they are four and three quarters by 10. You have cut two of them and you score at half an inch and three quarters of an inch. You wanna put your score tape again, right on the, um, between the edge of the paper and the half an inch. As you can see, there's going to be pockets on the inside. I've already done one. Um, so this one's going to go on the right. And so I'm going to go ahead and just lay it flat so the gusset isn't showing. And I'm going to remove just a little bit of the backing of the score tape. And we are going to set this like this. And then you're just going to have it flush up against the right side of your pocket page. Once you're sure you have it in the right spot, go ahead and remove the backing. Shoot my tour, so I'll have to come down here to the bottom and tear the rest off without jiggling it. Oh, good, okay. Give it a nice burnish. And do the same thing on the left. I already I put this pocket down as well because it's the same exact thing as page one. The pockets measure five by four and a half, score on three sides at half an inch. But again, it is exactly what we did for page one. So that's why I didn't, you know, want to bore you and do the same thing again. Um, so it's already, already done. Now the flaps are going to overlap at first. That's okay because we haven't folded back on that gusset yet. All right, so I've removed the score tape, given it a nice burnish. Now we put it in the correct orientation and fold back on that quarter inch gusset. And now these flaps are going to meet perfectly right in the middle. As you can see, just fold this one a little bit better. Okay, so then once you have them, they meet right in the middle there. As you can see, they don't overlap. And then we have these pockets on the inside. All right, I'm going to have a little closure on mine, uh, just using one of the cut aparts. You can pick any cut apart that you like to utilize for that closure. Um, 
mine measures, uh, let me grab my ruler really quickly. Mine measures three and a quarter by uh, one and a quarter. If you would like to use the same cut apart that I am, I'm going to stick the page five sticky on this and set it aside with the others because again, we can't adhere it until we have our design paper down. We're now going to go ahead and open up our left and right flaps and we're going to work on the inside. We're going to go ahead and adhere our pocket, which is um, going to fit right along the bottom of the base pocket page. It measures like all of the base page pockets, nine by four and a half, score at a half an inch on three sides. All right, so then we can go ahead and just make sure you don't interfere with the score lines. Uh, you're gonna go right up against them and flush along the bottom of that pocket page. So before I take off the rest of the score tape backing. I want to make sure that the flaps close properly. They do. It's not interfering. And we are good to go. So now we can take off the sides of the score tape backing as well. So now we have this nice pocket here um, on our base page as well as these two little pockets here. So nice places to stick photos and ephemera and journaling cards and that sort of thing. The last thing we have for page five is this large flap here that is going to be centered on the base page and it's going to come down over the pocket and it's going to be magnetized and I have this little flap here or I'm sorry, I'm um, not flat, but little closure or um, cut apart that I'm going to use as a, as a closure to hold this in place. So if you want to use the same cut apart I chose, it's two and five eighths by two and a quarter. I'm going to stick this with the other one for page five. These are um, absolutely optional because we're going to be using magnets to close this anyway. I just thought it would be fun to have uh, one of those beautiful cut aparts, uh, you know, acting as a closure as well. So I'm about, let's see, an inch in on each side from the uh, fold line there where the flap is. So I'm trying to center this as best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, but I'm just going to eyeball it and go about, let's see, about an inch in on each side. I've only taken a little bit of the score tape off. Let me just, yeah, it's actually about seven eighths of an inch. Yeah, it's seven eighths of an inch, not quite a full inch on either side if you want to center yours like I am. You don't have to center it if you don't want to. Um, you know, just make sure you don't interfere with those score lines that make our flaps. Okay, so this is page five. All done, super easy. We have these two flaps here with pockets. We have this nice large flap and we have a pocket on our base page as well. So that is page five. Go ahead and turn it over. We're gonna go to page six now, which is much simpler, but it's a little bit more than just a flap and a, and a pocket this time. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and put a pocket down for page six. You guys know if you've seen my other uh, tutorials that I really love pockets. I really think that they are helpful in doing your mini albums in terms of actually filling them with photos and memorabilia and things like that. So I have pockets at some point place on almost every single page. The first thing though that we're going to do is lay down our flap. If you're laying down a flap, you don't want to put your pocket down first because obviously it will interfere. So this flap measures four and a half by 10. I'm going to put mine on the left and then you score on the four and a half inch side at half an inch. Okay. So I'm going to turn this this way and it's going to go on the left of the pocket page. So you're just lining it up with the left flush with the left hand side of the pocket page. Just make sure you have it also flush with the top and bottom. Once you have it, whoops, I totally slid mine. So that's okay. That's why I only take a little bit of the score tape backing off at first so I can fix it. There we go. That is what I want right there. Okay. Don't move and take the backing off. <laughs> okay. Almost, sometimes I hold my breath. 
<laughs> when I do these. It's kind of funny. Um, okay, so as you can see, I've already done a pocket on the inside. There's also going to be a pocket on the outside. And the pocket measures five by four and a half. Score it three sides, a half an inch, miter your corners. And these are going to go, this one's going to go right on top. And I already did the one on the inside. So we have pockets on each uh, side here of this little flap. So I'm going to go ahead and take just a little bit of the backing of the score tape off of the bottom. Make sure you go flush to the right side and the bottom so you're not interfering with the score line on the left. You don't want to go over, but you don't want to interfere with the mechanism that is the actual flap. So that's good. We can go ahead and remove the sides backing of the score tape as well. Okay, there we go. So there is our left flap with both of our little pockets. Give it a nice little burnish here. And there we go. So this is going to open up and then we have this flap here, which measures six and a half by four on the six and a half inch side. You just score it half an inch and I'm just going to place it. I'm going to turn it upside down so I have a good vantage point and I'm going to go a little bit in. It's actually the right, but when it's upside down, it's the left. I'm just going to go a little bit left of um, center. I'm not going to center it. I'm about a quarter of an inch in from the left and I'm going to stick that flap down. Let me make sure before I go further that I want that flap on the left and not the right. Let me just pull out my, my paper real quick. Yeah, this is fine. It really doesn't matter with the way I've decorated it, where you put it. Just wanted to double check that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and burnish that down and then we also have a pocket page pocket as well which measures like they all do nine by four and a half score on three sides at half an inch and then I'm just going to stick this down so it doesn't interfere with our um, flap you don't want to go over the flap you want to make sure that that, that, the, that the flap will still close um, and that your pocket doesn't go over the pocket page there. Okay, there we go. And then it's flush with the bottom. Okay, go ahead and pull that off. Go ahead and pull off the sides. And there you have it. So this is page number six. We are moving right along. Uh, so here we have page six, which closes like so. Okay, so you've got this flap, pocket, pocket, and then this flap here. Okay, and all of this will be magnetized, as I've said. So it's gonna, it's gonna stay, it's gonna stay nice and uh, oriented and, and closed for us. It's a little, it can be a little tricky working on the back when you have this big gusset on the other side. So you just have to kind of keep that in mind and just try to keep everything as straight as possible as you're working through it. And this is looking pretty good. So this is page six. We'll use a sticky right now to keep it kind of everything in place and move that aside. We are now on our last base pocket page. Yay. All right. So this is our, like I said, our last base pocket page. So it'll start with page seven. Okay. So let me grab my bits for page seven. For page seven, the first thing that we are going to be doing is adding this very large flap that's going to cover the entirety of the pocket page. This measures 10 by eight and three quarters. And on the eight and three quarter inch side, you score at half an inch and three quarters of an inch. Again, giving us that nice quarter of an inch gusset, as you can see there. I've also taken my little um, envelope punch board. I've put it in at five inches because this measures 10. So we want to go halfway in at five inches and then just press down. And that gave me this little notch here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is flatten it so that that gusset is not showing or you know it's not protruding it's flat 
I'm going to turn this to the side. This is going to go on the right side of our pocket page. And I'm going to take off just a little tiny bit of the backing of the score tape because I want to make sure I have this perfectly flush against the right side of our pocket page. It's going to go over the page, as you can see right now, because we do not have that gusset that we made actually functioning. It's fall flat, but that's going to be, you'll see when we fold back in a minute, it will no longer protrude over the edge of the pocket page. It'll fit perfectly. So I have it where I want it. I'm going to go ahead and take off the backing of the score tape, give it a nice burnish. So turning it now in the right orientation, you can see it's protruding a little bit over the left edge of the pocket page. No problem. You pull back on that quarter of an inch gusset and now you can see it lines up perfectly with the left hand side. Now on the inside of this flap, we'll call this the right flap, on the inside of the right flap I wanted to add two little pockets that will accommodate tags. So I already went ahead and added my paper and one pocket just to save some time. These pockets, you wanna do two of them, they measure five by five and you score on three sides at half an inch. I still have the other one to do so you can see how it's done. So again, measures five by five, you score on three sides and half an inch, miter your corners, and then go ahead and stick them down. So these are sized so that they can accommodate um, the graphic 45 regular sized tags and I'll show you how it fits right in. These tags are phenomenal. They are wonderful and they fit perfectly in here. I promise. Let me just, this is the first time one has been slid in so it's a little tight at first but they fit in perfectly as you can see and they hold three by four pictures perfectly on either side. So that's kind of my idea for this design. Well, obviously we'll decorate and add the tags later, but I just wanted to explain why I designed it this way. And then you can also fit a nice large photo up here if you like as well. So I'm going to take a little bit of the backing off of this second pocket. They're going to be butted right up next to each other, which is why I went ahead to put the design paper down first. And so then I am going to just make sure, I'm going to turn it actually so I can make sure that this is butted right up against this other pocket. The reason being we do not want to interfere with our score lines that make our flap. So we have to have it perfectly right up against this pocket here. Okay, let me try that again. So I only take a little bit of score tape backing off at first, and that is so I can, I have wiggle room to make it work. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Whoops. I slid it. Okay, there we go. Pull that backing off. Okay, so now once we adhere this down, it's going to be butted right up against our right pocket and it's not going to interfere it's right up against but not over that score line so this flap will remain functional yay okay and then of course we'll have design paper on these pockets and you know it'll it'll look real pretty when we're all done okay then the last thing that we're going to be doing is add a side pocket onto our base page. So this pocket's going to go this way. Alrighty. So this um, base page pocket measures 11 by four and a half and we score on three sides at half an inch. Alright, so I am just going to turn it this way and I am going to just take a little tiny bit of the score tape off of the side of the base pocket and we are just gonna line it up, make sure that it's flush with the left side of the base page and with the top and bottom of the, sorry, that's my three-year-old. Uh, if you can hear uh, <laughs> talking, that is my three-year-old that wants to come in the room. Daddy's supposed to be watching him. Uh, so I apologize for the noise, but we are almost done. So burnish this down. 
So this is what page seven will look like. We have this flap here where we can have beautiful spread. Actually, I'm just going to have beautiful design paper here and not put photos here. But then we have these pockets, room for photos, side pocket, room for lots. This is a very generous pocket, as you can see, lots of room. Okay, turn it over. We're on our last page now, which is page eight. We are going to do another side pocket. Um, let's see, let's grab our, our stuff here for page eight. We are going to have a side pocket on the left and a flap on the right. So actually I can put this sticky. We didn't have anything to save for page seven. So I'll stick that back on there. So let's go ahead and just sit here the flap first. It's gonna be a right flap and it measures seven by 10 on the seven inch size score at half an inch. I already went ahead and adhered a little pocket to the top of this flap, which measures seven and a half by three and a half. Score on three sides at half an inch, stick it down, okay? I'm turning it this way and I'm gonna go ahead and just pull off just a little bit of this score tape and just make sure it's flush against the right hand side of your pocket page. Also make sure it's not crooked so that it's flush with the top and bottom. If my head gets in the camera during this, I do apologize. It probably has several times. But I just have to make sure that everything is lined up nicely or else the pages will be wonky and it won't look very pretty. All right, so this opens. This is our very last page. This opens. We have this nice spread here. And then we're going to have a side pocket right here. So this side pocket measures 11 by four and a half, score on three sides, miter your corners. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the backing just a little bit off of the uh, bottom there. And this is just gonna line up with the flush against the left side of the pocket page. And um, there we go. So flush against the pocket page on the left hand side and then we want to make sure that it also is even with the with the top and bottom and it is so i'm going to pull the backing off go ahead and give this a nice burnish and then we will of course remove the the sides of the sticky the backing of the sticky tape all right so here we have this nice pocket. So nice spread here, lots of room for photos on the back. And then of course we have our flap on the right with a little shallow pocket for some of those really pretty tags and ephemera that are in the collection. So that is page eight. I did add another little uh, fun cut apart as a closure for page eight. If you want to, to use the same cut apart that I'm going to be using. Uh, mine cardstock, which is a quarter of an inch larger than the cut apart, is two and a half by one and three quarters. Um, but you can use whatever you want. You just cut it um, so it's a quarter of an inch on all sides um, larger than whatever cut apart you're using. Um, so I'm just gonna stick this with the others because again, we have to have our design paper down first before we can utilize that. So this is page eight and we're done. So in the next video, what I will do is I will show you um, how I decorate all of this, of course. And I will also, um, oops, I will also show you where I place magnets, how we do closures, and then how we put the beautiful design paper on. Um, I like to do that with the pages actually in the book. So I will, between uh, videos, I will go ahead and adhere the pages, super easy. You just open it up, take the score tape off and just go ahead and stick those pages right down. It is super easy to do. I've shown it on several um, uh, tutorials that I've done in the past. So that part is really easy to do. And then I will also show you how we you know, work in all of these little closures that we've set aside. And I will also show you how I decorate the inside, front, and back covers. So all of that is coming up in the second video tutorial. And then, of course, there will be a walkthrough showing everything done, decorated, and really pretty. So I hope that you enjoyed this first part of the tutorial. And um, again, all those measurements are down below for you in the description box of this video below. 
Thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.